Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Over Cosmetics collab with Nikki Tutorials. This is the stunning box right here. I am so obsessed with this packaging. It has the glitter, it has the name, it has her beautiful picture on the back and what you get on the inside. So once you take the cap off, this is what you get inside, her beautiful picture again. I would be displaying this all over my house on all the shelves because look how beautiful that is. I am obsessed with this packaging. A plus for packaging. So she pretty much came out with a highlighter trio and three liquid lipsticks. So for the prices, this is 79 US dollars. So you can use any code like her code, um, Kim Tai has one, Kathleen Lights, Manny MUA, any of their codes it will bring it down to 55-ish dollars in the US. Pretty much in today's review I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on item one by one because this is actually my first time trying anything from Ofra Cosmetics so it's giving me an idea of what the brand is like. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. This is the highlighter trio. It is called Everglow. Comes with three shades. This one is meant for like lighter skin, medium skin and then darker skin tones. I was on the Ofra website and I was looking for prices so so I could just, you know, give you an idea. It's about 46 Australian dollars, which is probably like 25, 30 dollars US. So it's pretty pricey for just a highlighter. But these highlighters are amazing. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. And these are these swatches. They're very pigmented. They're very like smooth to the touch. And I really, really do love it on the skin. It kind of gives you like that wet kind of look. It's not gritty. It's very metallic. And I am obsessed with this highlighter. I'm definitely going to I put it on my top drawer in my vanity so I can grab it and go and use it on the everyday. I really do like it. I do think it's a bit pricey so definitely use like someone's coupon code. But for these shades wise I really don't think it's anything unique. This for the darker shade, this burnt copper, it's very beautiful. I don't think I could use it as a highlight but as an eyeshadow it would be beautiful and that's what I would be using it for but I probably have something very similar to all these shades in my collection already and my highlight collection is definitely not the biggest and I definitely could could find something very very similar but the formula is amazing I am really impressed by the formula I do think it's worth it I haven't felt anything so smooth and buttery as a highlighter which is amazing I definitely do think this is a standout in the whole kit so next up let's talk about this guy here so nude potion on me is like a cool tone pale nude I feel like this is only gonna suit people that are similar to Nikki tutorials skin tone which is a very very fair which is nothing wrong with that but this is definitely not going to suit a lot of people it's hitting a very very small target and I just I don't know I just don't like this on me like first off I don't even like cool tones but putting that aside it's already too light on me and um, I don't think I'm really that tan I'm probably like a light to medium so someone that's a lot more darker than me and has a darker complexion I don't I can't see this working out by the way all of these smell so damn good they smell very very sweet if you have a problem with that keep that in mind but i personally like it very moussey to me it kind of reminds me of the balm liquid lipsticks like that kind of mousse it's not like a liquid liquid oh no it's just this one i'm not too sure about ofra's other liquid lipsticks because these two are more metallic obviously so the formula is a little bit different the formula is i do like it it's very comfortable and it's not drying it's just the shade on me is I just don't like it and I feel like it won't suit a lot of other people as well and I would just skip out on this one unless you're very very fair like Nikki and you like a cool tone nude then I think it's beautiful the formula is great but for me personally and everyone above my skin tone I just don't like it and also these all do transfer like a little bit you guys can see I'm not really sure but I did just like kiss the back of my hand and you can see that it does transfer a little little bit the next look of lipstick is the one I'm wearing right now this one is called Coven to me it's like a metallic burgundy brown I personally would never go for this kind of shade but surprisingly this is my favorite look of lipstick out of the three this formula is amazing like it goes on so so smooth it's so pigmented it doesn't skip it's so comfortable and it doesn't dry out your lips I don't know it's something very different for me and I would recommend picking this one up because it's something really unique and I don't have any
anything like this in my collection and I think it looks bomb on the lips and you could also use this as an eyeliner since this is more like a brown darker shade I feel like you could get away for using this as like an everyday eyeliner it will still work out nicely I haven't tried it out myself so it's too early for me to speak but I really do like it I just didn't think I would like this one the most yeah the formula is so good on this one it's more liquidy it's not like that moussey texture again I just think this is very unique and it's something that I don't have in my collection and I think it's worth picking it up and then next up we have Spell which is the bright neon coral orange it has a little bit of like I would say purple to blue reflex like it's like a metallic shade for this one you do have to build the color up but once you keep building it up it kind of does get a little bit patchy it's nothing like really really noticeable but if you were to look up close you definitely could see it's I kind of skipping here and there and if, to me this just doesn't scream anything wow to me formula is great but you do have to um, really build it up and it kind of does skip so for me I would still skip on this one so now that I've spoken about all the products the ones that I personally would recommend and you guys probably could already tell when I was speaking about them the Everglow highlighter and the Coven lipstick these two are just what I think are worth it so when Sephora does come out with these to be sold separately I definitely would only pick up these two Overall, the formulas for everything is great, but it's just depending what kind of shades you like. completing my review for today I hope you guys did enjoy it and did find it helpful in deciding which items are worth it and which items are not so much so please give this video a thumbs up if you did find my review and my swatches helpful also leave a comment down below have you guys tried this collab out what do you guys think are there items from Ofra that you guys would like me to try like are there any standout favorites your holy grail products from Ofra I would love to know I would like to explore this brand a little bit more that concludes everything subscribe if you haven't already and until next time i'll catch you guys in my next video bye